and welcome back to my channel again 2002-2006 Toyota Camry with a 2.4 liter engine automatic transmission time and chain replacement this is going to be part 4 and the last video so with that in mind let's get started the time and chain cover right there 12 millimeter bolt another one here 12 and these two here are 12 millimeter bolts also and this is another 12 millimeter bolt this is another one here 12 and this is 10 here and that is 14 millimeter bolt right there and this is where the tensioner goes these two are for the power steering pump and this is also for the tensioner here this is 12 millimeter bolt another 12 here and that one is 14 right there see if the camera is able to see or not this is the last bolt I was showing from the bottom if for a 14 this is another 14 here this is a 10 here and this doesn't belong here it's 10 millimeter bolt I gotta take it out and put the ones the these are supposed to be not a 10 millimeter nut with a some bolt a star this is another of the same here this is another one here this is supposed to be star uh, bolt with a 10 millimeter nut and this is the tensioner here with a 10 millimeter bolt both of them i mean nut and right there i don't know if the camera is able to see or not but that's a 14 millimeter bolt right there hiding and this is another 14 here hiding and i'm gonna start by installing this power steering pump here just make sure everything is tight here 14 millimeter bolt here for the power steering pump For 10 millimeter socket here, flexible hell. It's very important that the thread goes inside very clean so you can place it as much as you can by hand. And now to finish putting the bolt, I'm gonna go to do it from the top to see if it's a little bit better from there. One quarter ratchet here, one quarter socket, uh, 14 millimeter socket. You you have to be able to fit uh, some tools that are as, as small as they can be. See this one is very thin here. It's very hard to fit some some sockets there. Now this is very long ratchet, one quarter ratchet, very long. And now I'm gonna be using this one again. Uh, this is a 3 8 flexible head. New tensioner here, 14 millimeter bolt. The 14 millimeter bolt here goes here, and the other one goes here. But this one you can uh, put it uh, as a last. But this one you have to put it with the uh, with the bolt right now.
ensure that that thread on this bolt is very clean and in very good condition because you're gonna need it you have to place them by hand as much as you can and this is 10 millimeter bolt here star Here is the 14 millimeter nut. The crunch of pulley here is going in right now, and I'm gonna put a little bit of an NSS grease here to make sure this surface is clean before putting NSS grease because sometimes they get stuck here. So, and make sure the bolt is very clean, the thread and don't put any grease here that is not good because it might come out with a vibration and everything nineteen millimeter bolt Next, the new water pump here, just to show uh, the position of the bolt, but not that it's going to go with the bolts right there. This is the information here for the water pump. And I already cleaned the, the surface here on the engine block, but I always like to clean it just seconds before, so to make sure everything is cleaned. If it's easier for you to install the water pump without the alternator, just take it out. At this point, it's very easy to take it out, just two bolts and boom, like it would take about three minutes. and put the two holes uh, lining up here to the top to calculate so you can kind of match these holes here once you put this pulley you cannot see the holes anymore so you have to kind of guess and move it a little bit 12 millimeter bolt four of them i think i got it And here is the new belt that is going in. It has been compared with the old one already and they both are the same. My team limited not here for the tensioner this is a hydraulic tensioner and most of the time these tensioners are really really hard to to pull so you have to do a few tries sometimes so let's see
for 10 millimeter bolts here it goes here I should have put this before but it's not a problem right now for 10 millimeter bolts one two and three here One more time make sure that thread of the bolt is very clean we're gonna put this one here it has to go with this one first Right, it went all the way inside by hand and I'm gonna leave it like that for now all installed it by hand and nothing here and I'm gonna go to the top of the engine to install the other one also by hand This kind of wrench like this to tie this bolt here. All right, guess what? I forgot about this bolt here. From uh, belongs to this motor mount here. All right, all the way by hand. And by the way, it's 17 millimeter bolt. And now I'm gonna be replacing the spark plugs here. And these are the spark plugs here, the new ones, double platinum, a little bit of uh, anisys. Make sure you don't put on the tip here. And do not let the spark plug fall to the bottom. Just press it with your finger like this. Try them by hand as much as you can. This is the gasket here, the Valkyrie gasket. That's the information right there, Felpro. Make sure the surface here is very clean. No oil or anything like that. And before putting the Valkyrie gasket here, make sure the surface here is very clean and dry. Uh, it's not oil or anything like that, otherwise it will not properly seal. Anywhere you're doing a gasket, a valve cover gasket or any other gasket and when you find cuts like this, you have to apply sealing in those cuts, otherwise you might leak. Very, very little, not a lot. Before bolting it, make sure you take a good look all around the valve cover to make sure the, the gasket is still in place before bolting it. This is a 10 millimeter bolt, by the way. I also painted this valve cover.
10 mm bolt. All right, a moment of truth here. We're gonna try to turn on this, this engine, this vehicle, and see if everything goes well or, or the entire job fail. No leaks, nothing, the engine is running so smoothly, that's a good thing, I mean you have to check for leaks or anything like that, after doing a big job like timing chain like this one, so everything came out well, thank god. Now make sure you bleed out the air out of the radiator, out of the engine, out of the hoses, everything, the cooling system, I'm gonna apply more cooling here and that should be it just uh, and bleed out the air i'm bleeding out the cooling system here and the thermostat already open right there and no leaks anywhere everything is good thanks for watching the video and god bless you all